video I did not expect to make. I hope you guys are having a great day, great day. Today we have the CA Corvette Z06 out right behind me and I have some very big news to share with you guys today in this video. As you already know if you've been watching the channel lately, we have a lot of new stuff coming in, new supercars and all over the internet. I've been talking about it too actually. We've been seeing uh, spy shots for the next Corvette to come down the line. You guys know how much of an enthusiast I am for Corvette. I love the brand, I love the team, I love this car right behind me. But looking closely at the future, I cannot wait to do what we have done with this car, with the brand new Corvette ZR1 or Zora, whatever it's gonna be, because there's one thing that is true. No one will be testing it like we will. Do you remember back in 2019, I think it was 2019, when Chevy revealed the all new mid-engine Corvette? It really blew away the entire car scene. Chevy had their drop the mic moment. I think it was Mark doing the presentation uh, but it was just really entertaining to watch. Everyone has been waiting so long to see the mid-engine Corvette. All the front-engine Corvettes in the past have been really high-performing. Now we have a whole new generation that's, that's been kick-started. I remember watching the reveal, the Tustin reveal live, and I was just blown away. I knew that I had to get that car. I think I took delivery of my C8 Stingray when I was um, 19 or, or 20 years old, which is just crazy to think about. I'm 23 now, and we've owned three Corvettes. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. We've worked our way up through every single model, that being the Stingray, also the uh, C8R edition, then the Z06. It gets me so excited to see the future of what we're gonna get next. I remember when the Stingray came out again, I worked so hard to get that car, called dealerships all over the, all over the state to get an allocation and we lucked out with um, a dealer down south. We got to build our car. Once we got it, we did something that really no one else was doing. We, we shared what these cars can do performance wise against supercars and on the racetrack. Tens of millions of views, if, if I recall, through, uh, throughout all of our C8s up until this car. And I made a promise when I got the C8Z06, I was gonna do the same thing, drive it across the country from the uh, National Corvette Museum to the entire showcase of, event live. <laughs> I remember that. People were watching us live take delivery of our C8Z06. It was such an honor to work with everyone um, there at the, at the museum to get this car and show with the world what it can do, doing the first ever dyno run the first true track test. We compared it against every single supercar out there like the Huracan STO, the FA Tributo Ferrari. Literally every single supercar you can compare this against, we, we did it. We got the owners to drive this car. I mean, we showed the world what this car can do. Not only from an entertainment point of view or a journalist perspective, the videos here on this channel with this car also helped to improve the ownership experience for everyone who has a C8Z06. For example, the GM rewards points, a situation that we found ourselves in, that involved us not knowing that you had to sign up with a GM rewards account right away when you take delivery of your Z06, there's a little, little window of time. Um, there's a document you gotta sign when you, when you take delivery of your car saying that you won't sell it for six months or the warranty is void, the new buyer will have no warranty. A lot of people actually are selling their car um, right now without even waiting the six months. So a lot of cars for sale, Z06 wise online, have no warranties. It, it's sad to see that, but going back to my point, the, the coverage that we had sharing the entire situation and the documents, it actually helped uh, for Chevy to see this and them to understand the problem at hand or understand the misunderstanding. I know so many people personally who weren't going to get their $5,000 in reward points because they didn't know about this time window. We disclosed it and um, Chevy wanted the help. Everything is solved. Chevrolet is adjusting the program that rewards 2023 Corvette Z06 owners for retaining their vehicle for six months in order to make the benefit to customers more clear. All 2023 Corvette Z06 customers have until December 1st, 2023 to enroll in My Chevrolet Rewards to be eligible for the 500,000 vehicle 
Retention Award. So we help the ownership experience when it comes to that perspective. Also, uh, with the whole carbon fiber wheel fiasco. As you know, we've been tracking this car, going to um, tracks all across the country, trying to put down a lap time to show what it can do. There was an issue with the tire mounting for a Z06 carbon fiber wheels. And um, through our coverage, people got to see this. The issues got highlighted. Even the companies that make the tools to help get tires changed, like Hunter Engineering, wanted to help. And now they've made a video online showing the whole world how to work with this car. Dealerships are getting trained now. Actual internal bulletins came out after our entire fiasco of trying to share with dealerships what to do and also what tools to use. In summary, what I'm getting at here is that we have changed the, the world when it comes to how people look at this car right behind me. Getting people to understand what a flat plane crank, supercar, mid-engine Corvette can do. It really is crazy thinking about all the positive impacts we have made to the Corvette community, which I can't wait to continue to do so. I have some really big plans coming up for a lot of big uh, Cor Corvette videos we're going to do. I remember all the way back to even before this car came out, we got to go on Laguna Seca with Mr. Ron Fellows himself to go for laps in the Z06. It's really just crazy to think about. I think we've been on like six or seven tracks with the Z06 because after that initial experience during car week where we showed the world what, what the uh, Corvette can do on Laguna Seca before it's officially um, out for press drives, we actually got invited to go on the press drive. Major thank you to the Corvette team for, for having us out there. That was in Pittsburgh at a Pittsburgh uh, International Raceway? Pit Race, was that Pit Race? After Pit Race, we took delivery of the Z06, brought the car down to Texas, did an airstrip time attack <laughs> within like three days of ownership. Then the tracking adventures began. Before I did that, we made sure to do the entire car in paint protection film. Everything is covered by the amazing team at Elite Finish. The carbon fiber spoiler fully protected, wrapping around. The entire rear hatch right here is one big piece of paint protection film, specifically Aztec. Shout out to Aztec and also Elite Finish for being the masters that they are with uh, paint protection. The entire rear bumper is one big piece of PPF film. Every inch of this car almost has paint protection film on it. It's my utmost priority to keep this car well maintained and perfect. We've been doing a really good job to maintain it. After we got the C8 Z06 fully paint protected, then we started the events. We went to Big Willow, we went to Auto Club Speedway, Button Willow Raceway, Circuit of the Americas in Texas, Chuckwalla Valley Raceway. So that is true then. We've been to seven different tracks with this car and all of my track time has been on video. So every moment really of me being on track, you have seen on the channel. The car has been amazing in every single way on the track, listening to the flat plane crank go past 8,000 RPM, a naturally aspirated car that can keep up with the world's greatest supercars on the racetrack. I'm still stunned with just how much mechanical grip the car has, how sticky these tires really are, how fast the year changes are, and how addictive and intoxicating that sound is. Because lap after lap, it fills you with full driver's confidence. So the thought of getting a C8 ZR1 with even more performance, more horsepower than the Z06 right here in front of me, I just can't stop thinking about it. I got to get myself primed and ready to go because we're seeing teasers of like spy shots all over the internet for that car. I probably, I won't be able to keep both. Our job here in the channel is to continue to get the latest and greatest cars, test them out, share what they can do. And I believe my journey with the C8 Z06 is starting to come to an end because we've been to so many tracks with it. I spent so much money putting on new tires, then transported for each event. I really do think that we've done such an awesome and amazing job sharing with the whole world what this car can do, uh, given what we do here on the channel, testing everything out. It only makes sense for me to start looking into uh, future options so I can get ready to continue to buy the latest Corvette and the latest supercars to keep the awesome content flowing. The paint looks like it's liquid. 
wet walking around it just looks beautiful i don't know if i could really say, say goodbye to this car i'm um, even coming down below here look how good all the carbon fiber looks exposed with the z07 performance package so in this video i am announcing that i'm, I'm putting this car up for sale online now i'm not in a rush to sell it so if it doesn't sell right away we're going to keep enjoying it until the zr1 comes in but i do want to always be prepared and, and ahead of the schedule the agenda so i can afford the next car to continue to make this kind of content i have to make one big recommendation though to all of you if you buy a special car supercar like this you gotta invest in paint protection film all of the paint protection is wrapping over each panel, even the front dive planes that are in carbon fiber, the front splitter, it wraps underneath, the carbon fiber mirrors have paint protection, the side doors, the fenders down below. This is something that you have to do because these cars are so special. You wanna be able to walk up to it and then wipe it off with a detail um, spray and towel and it'll look brand new without any risk of uh, damaging the paint. One thing I'm really happy about is that we did get a brand new set of carbon fiber wheels. I just installed the latest set of Cup 2Rs. These are brand new. It is ready to go. So if you are interested in getting a CA Corvette Z06 that has every single option really that you can get. What I am going to be doing with this car is that I'm pricing it currently as the most affordable and best bang for your buck Corvette Z07 on the market. If I was going to flip it i would have sold it months ago i'm coming on eight months to nine months of ownership i believe which again we have enjoyed this car so thoroughly showing the world what it can do but at the same time i've really pampered it because looking closely at it the car looks brand spanking new <laughs> i'm just really excited for the next adventures we're going to embark on on the channel uh this car is still going to be here until i i finally sign the paperwork off to a new buyer but i think this is a good move okay here's the deal i, I have to talk uh, honestly heart to heart right now i i love this car Really, it's got everything that you really want in a supercar. It's visceral, the performance is intoxicating. Uh, there's never gonna be a vehicle like this ever again, I don't think. I just don't know what more I can really do with the car and the channel that we haven't already done. This is my job and, and I, I'm not made of money. I'm, I'm a regular guy, I'm 23 years old. And for me to continue to do stuff like this, I gotta keep moving stuff. Um, I will be buying the ZR1 100%. And, and I think my main goal out the door and i've said this for many years now going through three c8s testing each model out i want to keep whatever is going to be their ultimate final edition that is my dream uh, the fastest always getting the fastest car that's why we're buying the 750s for example my point is i am a track driver i chase speed and performance with new cars in the horizon, I have to keep being so far well ahead of the timeline, being prepared to be able to get them. So I hope that makes sense. I have not one complaint with this car, so I'm not selling it because I'm, I'm mad at it or it's too expensive to run. Let's be honest here, all the, uh, all the money I spent in tires, over $10,000 in the past couple of months, the past like seven, eight months, um, it's been a result of me trying to drive more so with all the tire. So that's why we've gone through a few sets of the tires, but everything else, everything else with the car is immaculate. Just imagine the Corvette ZR1. What is it gonna have, turbos? Just to remind you, when we got this car, we basically got every option that you could get for the Z06. We got all the exposed carbon fiber, as you can see down below with the beautiful weave that connects down in the middle over there. We also got the 20 inch carbon fiber wheels up front with the carbon ceramic rotors. 21 inch tall carbon fiber wheels out back that house 345 wide tires. The entire carbon fiber roof package. Every single piece I could do in carbon fiber, I, I actually ended up buying. What's interesting is that, from what I understand, the Z07 cars altogether are much more rare than the Z06. Only a fraction of the uh, Corvette Z06s will 
be able to get this option, which is why these cars are just gonna be so special down the road. One thing I wish I did more was take off the roof and put it out in the trunk because this is a Targa, basically, a convertible that you can still see the amazing 5.5 liter V8. Chevy nailed this car, but my mission all along has always been to get each model, every version of the C8, to work my way up as a driver and an owner to progress the tiers from Chevrolet. This is literally the most expensive Chevy product they've ever made. To do that, you had to get all the interior carbon fiber, such as the level two carbon fiber trim and also the stealth finish for all the standard chrome accents. Another cool upgrade for the 3LZs is that you can opt for yellow stitching, which is an extra fee, of course. Usually most things are, but the 3LZ gives you all the suede or the Alcantara in the interior and a special design cue on the side of your doors. How is this an American? American car, the build quality just blows my mind. All the suede and the custom stitching everywhere. The HD rear view cameras, the competition sport bucket seats, <laughs> and the best part of all, the engine. The way this thing sounds, it feels like an absolute race car. It sounds like a race car. I'm gonna miss this car so much, but I wanna get that ZR1. I wanna get it, and my fear is if I wait too long, it'll be hard to, to, to get. Um, I need to make sure I have the capital, the funds to do it, because whatever this is, I would expect the ZR1 to be um, probably 60 grand more. With all the other adventures we're planning, all the track driving we're planning on doing, and the, and the vehicle tests these coming months, uh, I, I just I just want to be prepared. Don't get me wrong, the Z06 content isn't going anywhere because we have a lot of access to, to, to them. We know a lot of great people um, and I have a lot of great uh, ideas and videos in the works right now currently. It's just I, I think this is, a, this is a good time for me to start considering to, to sell this car. I'm not a collector, I, I really am not. Uh, and I, I love all these cars, but I'm a younger guy, I can't afford to keep doing all this at the same time with all these vehicles. It just doesn't make the financial sense for me. The stuff we've done for the Corvette community, the videos, the enjoyment, all the smiles I get to see on a daily basis from Corvette owners, it, it blows my mind. Not only Corvette owners, but people who are interested in supercars or muscle cars. These videos reach everybody. I'm excited. It's not like a goodbye video because we're we still have the car. I'm just listing it for sale starting now. If you're interested, uh, please email support at feedonmottos.com. The car is the most affordable Z07 used right now on the market that I could find. I want to be very fair because I'm not a flipper. It has nothing to do with that, but I'm not going to give it away either. So it goes both ways. If you are interested, um, there's also a link to the Auto Trader ad down below. It's just a life cycle. We've had so many vehicles on this channel um, testing them out. Uh, the Mustangs, uh, all the Corvettes we've had, three Corvettes. We just continue to cycle them out. That's just what we do here. And I'm gonna buy another Corvette. So, hey, it's all, it's all in good fun. Oh, I'm gonna miss that. 8,600 RPM Redline. A true supercar Corvette. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the next episode.